Hey, my crypto bitch brothers and sisters, cryptopians is what we call us, I guess now, huh? Worldwide. Huh, Papa Ron? Rod? How are you? Here. Papa Ron has showed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Barely, huh? Of course, Papa Ron always shows up. <laughs> it's old Bulldog Rod here that never shows up. Yeah, no, you're good. My brain, my brain is never showing up. <laughs> ah, heck. We got an interesting show today, I think. Anyway, it from from everything that we've been talking about prior to the, the video here, and also studying it. This this is a fairly good platform. You know, it is an ICO, and uh, um, so I'll, I'll let Ron get started with it because it sounds pretty well, good. You know, the back. I'm sorry, go ahead, Ron. No, I don't know everything about this. I'm with you, though, Rod. This is a pretty interesting thing. And, folks, you know that we present ICOs occasionally on our show. And and we're going to kind of talk about that. But first, let me just give you a quick background. This, this platform is called Pitch. And the name fits it um, perfectly. Um, but there was a guy, this Matthew Lawley, I believe his name is, Rod. And he... Uh, he came up with this technology called 2UP. And it eventually started with a kind of a, a an app on the Apple Store. You put it on your iPhones, I guess. And what it was, it would be a debate type of thing. And then people could watch the debate and vote on who they thought won the debate. So that's wow. the kind of the technology that this Matthew kind of came up with. And it kind of evolved into this platform of pitch and basically it's a platform to where ICOs can come on and pitch their platform or project. So then he partnered up with this Jonathan Foltz and this guy's a brainiac too and uh, we'll kind of look at them real quick as we get into the white paper briefly but um, th this is an interesting thing because Rod think about it look at what we go through you and I when we and folks, we do. We like to get into ICOs, yeah. especially platforms that we feel really have a project something unique, unique and, something and, that, and something that can be wor uh, worth something. Yeah, and that's going to go into this blockchain technology. It's the wave of the future. Yeah. And, so, and there's a lot of them we don't even give two cents for. But um, so, but when Rod and I get looking at it, we first got to go out and we got to look at all these ICOs that are on the market. And there's four or five platforms you can go to. And then you got to read a little synopsis of quickly what it's about. And if it strikes our interest, then we kind of open it up and go to the website and we read the website. We generally review the white paper and and it, it, it's a process. And Rod, you know yeah. what we go through to Oh, I know. I know. To and do that's that. just, and that's just that's just scratching the surface of it. You know, because a lot of times we do even a lot more than that with them. Well, yeah, before we even put some dollars into it, and, you know, we've talked about our hesitations on ICOs also. One oh, is there's yeah. been no accountability. You know, we'd like to see these funds kind of put into a trust account and, and given to the development team as things progress on the project. Right. Anyway, so we we but, do look... You know, but, but, but really, if you stop and think about it, pitch guys kind of do that. You know, they, they, they got like 31 guys on their working team with this thing. This is no small project. I mean, you, you talk about they got a lot, big team. 31 people in this thing. I, that's pretty that's pretty impressive. No, it is a good development team. They're, like you said, and here I, I got onto the uh, app store over there, that iOS app store, and mm -hmm. and you got to remember that this has already been used under that two up and so they've yeah. evolved it into this pitch product and so um and, and without studying this too much folks we, we just cut, let me explain kind of what they're doing i think of course it's a this their ico starts on the 28th i believe rod in about five days or so yeah, yeah more than five right. days right. and um what they are is they're trying to develop a project or a platform where people with ICOs or projects can come and and go through a vetting process with pitch and then get on this platform to make a pitch, a presentation type thing for yeah. for their uh, so, uh 
So uh, I, I guess what you might say is that, that that we're making a pitch for pitch. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You nailed it on the head, brother. Except we're not okay. selling any tokens with it. So um, these ICOs can get on there, and make a presentation live on this platform, these yeah. this app, and people can watch it. Or as an investor, um, you can you can uh, interact with the person making the pitch for their ICO. And then if you want to uh, get involved in it and buy their tokens or coins, you can do it right live on the app. Um, and you do you do that with pitch tokens. Yeah. So, now think, and I thought about that a little further too, Rod. So let's say, let's say you and I, and we were even looking uh, two, three, four weeks back at virtual reality yeah. ICOs, uh -huh. and we and but here on this app, if all the ICOs are on here, we can get in. A, I, I'm assuming we can. I I haven't verified this, but we could probably say I want to see all the presentations on virtual reality, yeah, um, projects, and then we can compare one to another and say, yeah, I kind of like this. Let's let's get involved in this one. So uh, while I'm, this. I'm sorry. Now you said you can get on this live, right? Well, what, what 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 if you pass? You can't look at all five of them at one time, right? Well, right. After the live presentation is done, what I'm grasping is that it's recorded and it's put on this app. So we might oh. see. Yeah, we might say, hey, there's five of them on here in virtual reality. Let's look at all of them. Oh, look at all of them. Okay. Or we can okay. say, well, wait a minute. Here's one that's going to be done here in another three days. They're going to actually do a live presentation. Oh, Let's yeah. calendar that so we can watch it. There you go. And maybe somewhat interact. I still don't know how all the interaction works. Um, but I think it's cool that you actually have a rep from the company presenting their project. That's kind of like... Reminds me a little bit of, of that Shark Tank, right? Kind of like that Shark Tank is where you can the the show. Yeah, yeah, the investor is saying the the uh, uh, the guy who's doing the virtual reality comes up with his ICO and says okay, and he pitches it out to everybody on the on the blockchain who's who has a pitch token, right? And then they in turn say okay, we're going to use. Well, we'll invest with you or not. Maybe hundreds of thousands of people on that on that app, right? Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. Comparing it to Shark Tank is right. So you got an entrepreneur, some kind of ICO that's coming forth, and he's going to yeah. present his project to investors. And there might be some of us, like you and I, that just watch it live without participating at all. We just want to watch it. Yeah. Um, but. And then he's presenting it and he says, all right, I'm offering these tokens. Here's the price. To get his tokens, you're going to need pitch tokens to yeah. get his. So, right. yeah, you'll want to have some. And, and for him, for anybody to participate on the pitch platform, you're going to need pitch tokens. Um, so the more ICOs that are on this, and it saves them a bunch of time also if you think about it. You know, this way yeah. they have a they have an audience that's looking at them, and they can present it. Now, Rod, you and I have looked through these white papers. Oh yeah. my land! And even some of the websites, it's like yeah. just talk, just talk in my native tongue. <laughs> use use words Make it that simple. <laughs> that's right. And some of these guys they elaborate in words that it's like. Well, that sentence me meant nothing to me, even after I've read it three times. Yeah, I know. So being live and listening to these guys and you can get a feel of their integrity and, and, and about them, I kind of like this idea. I do too. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I don't know if I'm... So here's their white paper, Rod. Um, oh, and, okay. And folks, I kind of look through this quite a bit. Um, I kind of marked... Yeah, see, here's, here's kind of some pictures of the app. Um, and so, so like I say, you can go through. You can go through here, Rod, and say, "Well, wait a minute. This ICO I'm interested in. I'm going to mark my calendar so I can watch that guy live. Yeah. Or if I miss it live, I'll watch the recorded viewing of it later." Right. And here's where they're getting on. They can they can set up a, a pitch thing to do. That's pretty cool, really. Um, let me go down to. 
Sorry, folks. I'm making Rod dizzy, I know. Especially <laughs> with the papers. <laughs> 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 okay, here's their ICO. Now, this is Pitch's ICO, folks, and it's going to be done in an Ethereum-based token. It's an ERC-20 token, so you'll be able to store those in my Ether wallet and a few of those places. And they're going to let... They're, they're coming up with 1,618,000,000 tokens. That's, that sure is a lot of tokens, huh? That seems like a lot, but... Yeah, it does. But Rod, I, I think if you if you think about it, and you have all these ICOs selling their tokens for pitch, it's see right now, that's right. I think it'll use them up, and people these these organizations don't cash them all in at once, so they might be holding on to pitch and using it as the time is needed to uh, further their project. So yeah, they they might need all that. So they're selling them on this ICO. I think they're selling, is it 20% of them, Rod? Yeah, oh yeah, 20%, that's right. So about yeah. 300, 300 million tokens they're gonna sell on the ICO. So the and rest of them they're holding? Well, yeah, they're for, for marketing and of course for these pitch presentations and so on. Okay. Um, it's not all for the team. Uh, that bugs me too when the team takes a huge percentage. But here's how they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it this this twenty percent they're letting go is going to be in eight. They call them rounds, eight different rounds, and the further you wait to get in on it, the more it's going to cost you to get pitch tokens. Obviously, all of them yeah. kind of do that. Yeah, all of them do that. Yeah. So the first forty million they're letting go for three thousand Ethereum. So folks, you okay. can easily just divide that out what the cost of Ethereum is, and and I think if Ethereum's about a thousand bucks you probably spend about seven cents a token if you spend a whole Ethereum. Yeah. And then each round, so after the first 3,000 ETH, Ethereum are collected and they've sold that 40 million, then they'll move into round two. Oh, okay. And they'll keep going till, they're, till they've sold them. Um, so another thing I wanted to look at, Rod, in this okay. is... Um, here we go. Sorry, folks. Here's that Matthew Lawley. And, and as I got looking at some of these team members, um, he's the one that started that two up. Uh, and then he, he started this other company, or he sold first company as largest shareholder in approximately 18 months, dollar value 13 million. He's created many of these Apple and Android apps with web apps. So his background is kind of a startup guy, and he knows how to develop these apps. So I was pretty impressed yeah. with that. This Jonathan Foltz, who's his partner, I think. Isn't he a co-founder in co this? A bit? Uh -huh. He's a futurist, um, and he's, he's in the business world and kind of in this digital uh, arena quite a bit. And like Rod said, they've got 31 people involved in getting this thing going uh, so it's just not a fly-by-night deal so rod what, what questions what are we missing here so february 28th let me go over to the uh let's take a look at the website now here's our website folks um it starts in five days and 12 hours it's not you, very long no, it's pretty quick. Well, you really hit this one right on right on good timing. Yeah, so you got a few yeah. days to think about it. You got to sign up and get on this white list. And folks, it, it's they're out of South Florida, so they're United States based ICO. That's a plus. They're going to require ID and picture to get on this white list to be able to buy the pitch tokens. Um, and it's a utility token, so this is nothing alarming. I mean, anymore, you can't get on any exchange with, without values. I mean, if you want your limits pretty high, you've got to give up personal information anyway. So don't be alarmed when you get to that. Um, I think there's enough credibility behind this group. So it starts in five days. Uh, the whole place where entrepreneurs and startups pitch investors live. I yeah. still think that's pretty cool. I do, too. It benefits everybody, and it benefits the investor because they're not 
I mean, there's a centralized place to go to see these things. Even though their ultimate goal is to become the whole thing decentralized, you still need an app to view this. The entrepreneurs benefit, the users benefit, and we've kind of discussed that, what Rod and I have gone through. Here's their roadmap. Yeah, uh, and that's, that's another thing, sweet. Rod. I think, yeah. um, uh, I think they've had several hundred people petition the app um, to, to use it. They want to make some kind of pitch. Now, whether it's an ICO, I don't know. I think I read that somewhere that uh, this thing is already, I don't want to say it's up and running, but obviously the app is on there, and I think you can download that app, which I haven't done yet. So there's their roadmap. Here's the team again. Well, right now it's just offered through Apple, right? Yes. Yes, and, I, and if we're Android like I am, I can't do it. I wonder if they're going to get into it. Well, let's look at that roadmap. I'm sure they're going to get into it. They know how many people have Android phones. And I want to say, I, if I read something about that, I don't remember at this point, Rod. Um, so, yeah, I, I would think they're going to develop into that. And maybe that's what some of these funds are for, to finish up the development side and, and to get this thing really kicked off right. They can't just focus on Apple phones, um, I'm sure. So, But I do like it. How long this will take to get several ICOs interested and up and running on this, um, I don't know. So I'll read down here, Shark Tank meets Kickstarter. The so Kickstarter is like Shark Tank? Kickstarter is an is an online um, website to where if I have a if I have a business idea I can go on there and same thing petition say hey I need I need fifty thousand dollars to get this product in in uh, in production where we can sell them and then people that watch that if they think it's a good idea they can invest into my my project. And then once I hit the 50,000, I think the funds are released, and then I can go ahead and do that. And then those investors get something back for helping kickstart or start up that. So I think, I think it's kind of like you said, you visualize Shark Tank, the series, with Kickstarter buying their tokens to get them that jump start on it, and yeah. it merges into where everybody benefits. I can see why this would be a good kickstart, though. Because it has a live pitch in front of a bunch of uh, a bunch of us who have invested in pitch, and then we say, "Yeah, I could go along with that, or or not." No, That'd be I agree. Kind of cool. I'm just That's excited it. to see everything go to one spot. Now I know it'll take some time to do that, but I just know what Rod and I go through looking at ICOs, and it it's oh, a yeah. headache. It is. Yeah. It'd be nice to go to one spot and just figure it all out. <laughs> yeah. And see the whole thing. Well, folks, and check it out. Down, if you go down further on that, you can actually see their whole core team. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah, they got a lot of people and, on there. And, and the and advisors, yeah. They do. There's plenty to read on that white paper. It's not overwhelming. I, I kind of read through it, and uh, it kind of gives you a better understanding of what they're trying to accomplish. Starts yeah. in five days. Th this could be a good one, Rod. I think it will. I don't know why I wouldn't. So right, check folks. it out. Watch it good. Ron, you have anything else to say? No. Okay. Just uh, trying to keep these people we... abreast of what's going on and the yeah. technology and where it's headed. I'm telling you, I still believe, Rod, and I know I've been saying this on every video we do. I know. I know. And I believe <laughs> it too. I'm right with you, brother. I, I agree. I'm going, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> this... Um, Things are in the works that we don't even know about on this oh, yeah. blockchain technology and moving us forward in cryptocurrency. It and is. it's things like this that'll make the transition real smooth and easy. It, it will, it, you know, and, and I like to see new ideas come in like this. I mean, that, 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 that's what's phenomenal to me. When you see things like pitch, something that somebody thought of and brings it out, you know, that, that I, I could never think about things like that. Of course, I'm at the age now where I can hardly think. They are. <laughs> but this has been fun, Ron. Thanks. Check it out.
Yeah, and we appreciate you Cryptopians watching this because pitch is going to be a good one. And we're not we're not pitching to pitch. We're just pitching to to give information, you information, baby. <laughs> just big info. We want to spread the wealth for everybody, and now we can do that. And keep watching. Give us a thumbs up, and God bless.